Hello my dear friends. Today we will be discuss about the circumference of the circle. It is the circumference of the circle. So always I told you my dear friends before going to any exercise please remember the funda. Okay? If you remember the funda then you can solve any problem. Okay? So my dear friends before going to this we have to know that what is the circumference okay okay now the circle is there my dear friends okay circumference is nothing but the boundary of the circle what is the length of the boundary length of the boundary of the circle meaning if i am standing here the position a if i move along with the boundary and come back to the same position then i will say that the total distance traveled by me is the circumference of the circle okay so we will have to be discuss many more regarding the circle so before that i will request you if you like my channel please subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts please write in my comment section so that i will be clear your doubts okay but let's find out what is the circumference okay the circumference of this circle having a formula what is that the circumference of the circle is called as 2 pi r sometimes it is written as capital r but always it is written in small r form okay what is the uh, now what small r is designated and what are the symbols are designated 2 you know that it is a whole number this one is called as a pi Okay, the value of the pi r in fraction form it is 22 by 7 or in decimal form is 3.14. Understood my dear friends? These are the two value of the pi and the pi will be represented as like this. Okay, what is r? r is called as what? Yes, it is called the radius of the sun. Okay, my dear friends, this, are, this is the formula of what to find out the circumference of the circle if radius is given. If radius is given. If diameter is given, then how you will find out the circumference of the circle? Yes, in the two manner. Suppose diameter is given, then first you have to be divide two with, uh, two with the, uh, suppose diameter is given. Okay? So what diameter is 40. Then again you can uh, find out the circumference of the circle by this method. What is the method? We know that diameter is equal to what? 2 1. Yes or no? 2 times of the radius. The radius is like this. 2 times of the radius is called as what? Diameter or not? My dear friends. Okay? Okay? So here you have to find out the R. If you want to find out of R, what is that? R is equal to D by 2. These two will be divided into this side. Then how much it is? 14 by 7. Uh, 14 by 2. The answer is coming 7. Okay? But here if I return like this, it is also an incomplete one. Always write the units. It may be in centimeter form. It may be in meter form. Okay, so my answer will be coming in centimeter forms. Understood, my dear friends? Okay, very good. Very good. Now, with the diameter, we can also find out the circumference of the circle by direct order. What is that? The circumference of the circle is equal to pi d. Why? 2 times of r is the diameter. Yes or no? All circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r. Okay, if diameter is given, you can find out the what circumference, circumference of the circle or if the radius is given we can easily find out the how to find out the circumference of the circle understood my dear friends let's have an example so that you can understood very very easily okay my dear friends so my dear friends again i told you if you like my channel please subscribe it okay and share it to your friends so that you will be receive the new videos from me okay next let's have an example so, I have erased everything. Okay, now the two formulas are what? 
2 pi r sorry circumference is equal to and r is pi d the value of pi always remember my dear friend 22 by 7 or pi value is 3.14 okay my dear friends so these are the two values of the pi you can implement according to the given question okay now come to the which one yes the probability okay suppose if the radius of this circle is 40 if the radius of this circle is how much 40 centimeter or meter whatever it is then what is the circumference yes now write down the circumference of this circle is going to 2 pi r okay 2 will be as it is what is the value of pi we know that now in this case just remember this one right if r is a whole number then you have to be keep pi as 22 by 7 so 22 by 7 into how much it will be what is the value of the r here it is 14 centimeter okay now cancel it and you will find out what is the value of the circumference 2 times of 7 on the 7, 7 to the 40. 22 times of 2. How much it is my dear friends? Yes, tell me. Yeah, it is 88 centimeter. Yes or no? 2 to the 4, 20 times of 22 times of 4 is how much? It is 88 centimeter. Now, in this case, here radius is given, you can find out the circumference like this manner. If suppose diameter is given, how much? Let's take 7, 7 meter, okay, the diameter of the circle is 7 meter, then how you will find out the circumference of the circle, okay, now find out what is the circumference of the circle, the formula is which one, this one you have to use, use it because to save our time, don't go to find out the radius, then after that you will put the weight, don't go like that. If you, because if time is given, you can directly apply pi d. Otherwise, if radius is given, just put it uh, 2 pi r. Okay? So, the formula is 1 pi d. What is the value? Now again, 7 is the whole number. So, which one I will be put? Yes, the fraction part. 22 by 7 times of 7 is equal to how much, my dear friends? 7, 7 cancel. Okay? 22 meter. Like this manner, you have to find out the circumference of this circle by the face. Okay? So, what is the next step? Yes, I will be giving a question regarding the what? How to find out the circle with radius or diameter is given. Okay? So, my question is if radius is 28 centimeter and okay and uh, diameter is 56 meter okay then what are what is the circumference of the find out the circumference of this circle okay my dear friend this is the question for you, my dear friends. Okay, so apply the formula and get the answer. And in the next class, we will study if radius is given or if diameter is given or if circumference is given, then how we will be find the area of the circle. Again, area of the circle. Keep watching my videos and subscribe my channels. Thank you. Have a nice day, my dear friends.